Yo, yo, Sky Lounge starting again, yo! I just want to say thank you very much for your patience and support, everybody, for actually making this happen again. Because we had a lot of circumstances last year where we actually didn't really have a proper schedule where we can record together and stuff. But I'll try to make it a lot more consistent this year and hopefully we can actually bring more lounge episodes out this year. So hope you all are looking forward to it. In which for this year's lounge, we actually are going to have some more fun games in the episodes as well. For example, in this episode, we will be playing the NG word game as well. What the NG word game is, basically, for this week, Gessie is thinking of a word in which if I say it, I lose. And the word is actually. If you want to start counting how many times I say actually in this episode, go ahead. But I guess we'll see what happens. I hope you guys enjoy the episode. All right. I mean, it's been a while, but I guess we're back here again. Yeah. Hey, Gusty. What's up? Oh man, I blame you for all for all of this, though. I actually blame you for all of this. <laughs> we could have recorded so many lounges, but no. My bad, man. Anyways, uh, the best part is now we're back. We're actually gonna have a few mini games as well because apparently I've been watching too much anime. We've been influenced quite a bit, so we're gonna actually add the NG word game to our Sky Lounge podcast as well. I guess I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> there should probably be like a punishment or something for this, but that's basically the gist of it. But if you guys want more info on what it is, you can probably just look up the NG word game. It's in this season's anime right now, just saying. I'm, I'm not here to promote anime, but go watch Kaguya-sama, okay? <laughs> Anyways, uh, speaking of anime, there's a lot of stuff about PSO2, including an anime too. Yep. So let's start with our update from the Fantasy Star Festa. We have a road to episode 6 campaign. Oh boy, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. If you haven't been playing PSO2, come back. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is actually the best time to come back to PSO2 right now. I feel like I've been saying that like at least twice last year. This time is, is extra. Although, <laughs> yeah, this time's a bit different. This time is extra. It's There's crazy. There's so much stuff you can do right now to like just catch up really easily. Mm -hmm. Jesse, would you explain what's up with the Episode 6 campaign? The Road to Episode 6 campaign. Alright, the Road to Episode 6 campaign. So there are a uh, a lot of things coming. Um, they're giving super boosts. Like, um, at one point, there is a... You know, that, you know that Boss Rush LQ that everyone runs for experience? Yeah, the World and Golfs and Shadows. Yep, so going to be having that up for five days straight. And not only that, they're oh giving it goodness. a 400% XP boost. <laughs> That's actually insane. Yeah, it, it's it's really ridiculous. Uh, what else? They are uh, giving away one mil XP tickets for just like logging in mm -hmm. on I believe March twentieth. You literally get you get ten million XP ticket. Well, ten ten one million XP tickets just for logging in. So basically, ten, the, 10 million EXP total. But it's basically ten total, yeah. ten of the one million EXP tickets. Got it. Yeah, and um, but the biggest thing they're giving away is. If you do certain things that are actually really easy, you're going to get a free 15-star weapon of your choice. Holy crap. It's going to be an Atlas X, though, but you get to choose what type of mm. weapon it can be. Yeah, because I think the uh, the free one that they're giving to you is a gun slash, and then you can just convert it to any weapon type you want to. Yep, and they're giving you the materials to convert it to whatever you want to. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're, you're set. The only thing they're not giving you are the X-Cubes, but that, that's fine. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone yeah, has totally over fun. 400 X cubes by now. You only need 400, so it's not that much. Yeah. That's actually really crazy. So basically, it's all of that. And also, we also have two 10% grind fix boost weeks. Yeah. And actually, the, the first one is actually starting, well, Tomorrow. this maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> so it's basically March 13th to the 20th. Yep. And the next one, as Gessie said earlier, is from April 17th to April 24th, which is basically the start date of episode 6, which is confirmed to be April 24th, 2019. Yep. Oh boy. It's gonna <laughs> be crazy. That and also, um, apparently, if we, from March 20th, when we log in every day, we're also gonna get a Tokyo bonus gold key. Yeah. And also, if you clear if you clear your feature quest, you also get a Rappy key off that. So like, <laughs> wow, this is actually insane. If you log in every day, you're going to be swimming in gold keys. Oh, yeah. In addition to that, in addition to that, 
There's also 200% innate EXP boost to bonus keys, so it's like, oh, what is going on? <laughs> yeah. So they're also giving rate ups for all the uh, stuff for Atra, which is like the Judas, the Chevelle, and even Lumiere drops in E Forest with like crazy EXP and rare drop boosts for the duration of that week as well from March 20th. And then also later after 27, when the E Forest boost ends, they're also gonna boost Ultimate M Duskia, in which, you know, you'll be getting all the Nemesis, Slave, Ares MTs, which are the materials for everything you need for Austir MT. Amazing. Like that, now is definitely the time. If you need to catch up, this is the time to catch up. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So, with that said, there's also a few more things that we're probably gonna be super excited about. And number one is we're gonna have a Konosuba collab. Oh yeah, that that was actually unexpected. I'm very proud of that. Really? I mean, now see, okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen. Hear me out. Before anyone flame me, I have not watched Konosuba. Okay. Uh. Guess it. I can. I can feel. I can feel you're looking at me with a disgusted face. I'm ashamed. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's one thing to my anime watch list. But. There's one more thing that I do have to add to my anime watch list, though, is the actual PSO2 episode Oracle anime coming out. Yep, we're actually getting another anime, and it's not the weird one we got last time. It's not PSO2 the animation. It's a proper Fantasy Star Online 2 episode 1, 2, and 3 story animation. Yep, I mean, I'm, I'm optimistic about it. I just need to know how much episode it's going to be, because if they say 12 episodes, then I'm going to be really worried. <laughs> yeah... We'll see about that, but we're, we're, we're saying cautiously optimistic about it. Yeah. But you know, this is something that all of us been asking for since basically the beginning of time. Since we saw that, hey guys, we're gonna make PSO2 an animation. It was like, oh man, that's so hype. Wait, it's not episode one, two, three? <laughs> so yeah, we're basically getting our wishes granted. Yeah. And I'm so excited. So excited. But yeah, it'll, the broadcast will begin probably like summer or winter 2019, I think. Yeah, the usual anime times. The usual start of a new season, rather. Yeah. It's probably the one of the last two seasons of this year, so... Alright. With that said, before episode 6, we do still have a few updates. There, There's a small March update, you know, with number 1 being subclass EXP gain can now actually be up to level 70. So normally, normally you can only level your subclass to, what, 65? Uh, I think it was 50, actually. <laughs> oh wow 55 yeah. right right okay yeah, okay so, yeah, sub right. subclass gain is gonna be up to level 70 that is so good that's actually really good i wish they would just i wish they would just uncap it but yeah it's still really good and then there's just the spring 2019 event where they're bringing some of the pso2 es characters into the lobby so we're just gonna get some client orders from them and that's about it <laughs> yeah it, it's not much for which it's understandable though, because you know they're preparing for episode six and everything. Yeah. So, with that said, I guess let's talk a little bit more about episode six. What's going on here? Hey, well, we got a, a lot of things going on in episode six. We got to see the Phantom Trainer. Mhm. Mm and he turns out to be like a Chuny boy. <laughs> yep. It's funny enough, he's also voiced by Vegeta. So. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, the Japanese voice actor is the voice actor Vegeta. You f oh my god, this is gonna be <laughs> so meme. Are we gonna actually hear him like screaming and laughing hysterically? Like, That'd be great. Oh, I'm <laughs> my power! <laughs> That's gonna be so cool. And then also we have the the other girl, which is the, the blue hair girl. She's like an arts researcher or something. Yeah. And she's also voiced by Takahashi Rie, which voices Megumin and like lots of people. <laughs> so hype. I'm actually so excited. Oh yeah. And then what else we got? We got the new enemies coming. Oh, the quote unquote Kaleido Lumen Mex or Lumen Mex. Oh, they came to Whatever, Lumen whatever Mex you now. want to call it. Doesn't matter to me. As long as we understand the same thing, that's fine. Oh yeah. What what are these enemies? I'm still not too sure. Uh they're apparently enemies that the photon is control. Mm -hmm. I mean they they look really interesting though. Just like how they're designed. It's really like different from what we've seen from PSO2. Yeah, it's a lot of the things in this episode just look so different from everything that we've ever seen before. Yeah. Because the thing is, like, the concept for episode 6 was basically to return to the roots with the sci-fi genre, you know? Going out, battling in space, having epic battles with, like, super scientifically advanced creatures. <laughs> so, like, 
I mean, it, it's fair. I'm, I'm okay with this. They look super trippy, but like, I'm, I'm completely Oh okay yeah, with I'm this. fine with it. But yeah, like, aside from that, they're also still retaining their goal of making people be able to play their favorite weapons and classes, you know? So they're just gonna continue to do all the balancing updates and everything, which they've actually been doing pretty good for the last parts of episode five. So I'm really optimistic about everything. Oh yeah, I, I think they'll do really well with that. Mm -hmm. And with that, episode six does have a lot more changes than just that though. What else has changed, Gessie? Tell me. Um, I think some of my favorite changes, that was my favorite change first, is that you can now retake a drink without having to go to someone's room that's locked. You can just keep drinking oh, yeah. over and over drink, and refresh. over. That's so, that's actually really nice though. And with that, there's also one more thing that people are annoyed of is the freaking team tree. Oh yeah, I'm so glad they fixed that. Yeah, so basically we're just gonna be able to just grab any buff when we want. Oh yeah, which is great, which is great. It's not, it's no longer like you go to the tree and you need oh, the yeah. most and like the one thing you really want is just not there anymore. Like, there was yeah, no know, point right? in that existing. <laughs> Guess that you were watching the live stream, right? Yeah. You, you were... Do you know when 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 the director, right? When freaking God Yoshioka, the new director, was talking about the new tree updates, everyone in the room was freaking applauding, dude. <laughs> they were like, yes! <laughs> Finally! We don't have to suffer anymore! Another thing they added, which I find pretty interesting, they added like a new group chat. Hmm. The new group chat is gonna be really cool. Yeah, it's not like a team group chat, it's like you it's like a like Discord, it's like a Discord group. Yeah, it's like we're gonna have Discord in PSO, PSO too. <laughs> so, so now RZ can like make his 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 fan Discord in PSO too. Oh man, that's gonna be really chaotic. <laughs> and then invite a hundred lucky people. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't limit it to a hundred. <laughs> or was it two hundred? Oh no, I don't know. No, it's it's a hundred. So, but still, that's oh. Uh... Still, though, it's going to be really good for, like, groups of fans and everything, you know? Oh, yeah. Just having a way to just chat across teams and everything without having to spam, like, 10 whispers. Definitely. Thank God for that. that... <laughs> now, since you talked about your favorite, I'm going to talk about my favorite things, which is basically they're changing entirely the new player experience. You know, they're changing the entire, like, early game to make, like, the early game tutorial and story quests and everything just a lot better than what it is yeah to be honest like i think this is just in preparation for the anime because when the anime airs a lot of people are gonna be like yo let's go play pso2 and then they have no idea what to do <laughs> right <laughs> yeah so hopefully it's gonna be really good speaking of that i one thing i saw one thing i saw from the trailer is target dummies is this actually gonna be a thing good question i really hope it's gonna be a thing but yeah, anyways, go on. Just see what are you saying? Right, I was gonna say the other thing I like is speaking of like new people coming in, they don't have to feel as lost about where to start anymore because they have that like that new option where story mode is separated by arcs and is like neatly organized. It's not like have to go to the counter for episode one, two, three, and then go to the bridge for episode four. But even though you start on episode five because that's how they have it laid out, now it's just like it's a menu, just listed there one, two, three is an arc, four is its own arc, and then five and six is like another arc. They have it nice and separate so anyone can just go in if they want to. So they'll be actually really good because it's just that, oh, everything's just there now and then people won't be lost. Yeah, it's-, it's I, th I think it's something really, just really good. It is. And then the last thing with that, speaking of the new player stuff, we're having the uh, arcs mission and the Masetta changes. We're not gonna be TA slaves anymore. Yeah, I'm really glad about that because TAs were really, uh, I mean, when you do it for like years, it ends up getting really stale. But with the, how these weeklies are, it, I think that should have been how it, it's similar to like how we have King's Crest, except now it's actually relevant. Masetta. It's actually relevant. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's actually relevant now. <laughs> yeah. See, it's weird. It's like Conqueror's Crest were relevant for a good while. King's Crest was relevant for like a month. Yeah. <laughs> Because they never added anything but like one set of drops. So like anyone who didn't use any of Dragon's weapons just didn't even need to touch King's Crest. Yeah. So yeah, speaking of that, I guess that's basically what episode 6 is. Which comes to this now that we actually do have a roadmap of episode 6 as well. Which so early, like from here, spring to early summer in 2019, which is basically the whole implementation of episode 6 to begin with. 
So the Phantom class and the new story and then all that stuff, you know, it's going to be really cool. We're going to have our first UH difficulty, which is the exploration beyond Lilipa, which we're also going to see enemies with completely new mechanics. And also, you know, they're also going to have unique things, for example, like the enemy shields or the photonic cores and like all the unique stuff that we haven't seen before, in which because of that, they're also overhauling all the difficulties. In which, you know, they're going to change the curve between like normal to hard to VH to SH to UH, you know. Which I think is really good. Yeah. Because right now, a lot of the stuff from like SH to XH is basically just like artificial difficulty. But like knowing that they're actually overhauling the entire thing to make difficulties actually relevant and have UH actually be actually challenging. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. I'm just stoked that this is going to be a thing. Like, Jesse, what do you think about... You know, how how the game has been doing it, you know, with the artificial difficulty stuff. I mean, it feels like an MMO one does, but at the same time, Fanny Star is more of an action game. So I prefer for much better changes when you add new difficulties. Like, they've done it before. Like, Loser had changes, Elders had changes from, like, very hard to super hard. Yeah. And Loser had some changes from Super Hard to Extra, I don't remember. Yeah, they do. But outside of that, everything's just been like, Hi, I have more health and I hit harder. Get at me, bro. But <laughs> yeah. so it's, I'm glad they don't do that. I'm glad they're fixing that. Because that was, that was a bit annoying. I was worried they weren't going to do that. But they, they're actually they're doing it. They're taking it in a good direction. I like that. Mm. Yeah, that's actually really nice. So that's probably one of the things that I'm really looking forward to. And then with that, in the summer of this year, we're also going to have apparently a new PA system and also a lot more new PAs and stuff, which they specifically said that they're going to focus on sword and jet boots. I'm very curious to how they plan to change the PA system. Maybe it's probably like we're not going to have like, you know, the disc and stuff now. It's just going to be like, you know, true, just leveling up and stuff like how they did with Hero. Yeah, I think that would be really good. And it actually make, you know, your skill trainers actually relevant. <laughs> For example, they give you a client order where you will get, you learn this new PA if you complete a quest or something like that. That'd be nice. And then as you level up, your skill levels up and stuff. I think that, I think that's a really good approach though. Makes it really just feel more like an RPG. Yeah. Huh. And lastly, there's one certain thing that kind of like bugs me and kind of like peeks my eye on the bottom of the roadmap. Oh. At the very bottom of the roadmap. Oh, yes, I know what you're talking about. Quite interesting, actually. What did it say? What did it say in the winter, Gessie? What are they it doing in the winter? A new class? And <laughs> that was because we lately we only had like, what, one class per episode? Because episode four we had Summoner. Yeah. Five is Hero. Actually, hell, I didn't even think episode three and two were like, well, only I mean, okay, okay. One two, class we as had well. Braver. Yeah, three was Bouncer. Three is Bouncer. Four summoner, five is hero, six we assumed Phantom was the main class, but now we have another class coming, which is surprising. Like that, that is really I, surprising. Just, my mind is just blown off that. Like I, I don't even know what to expect off this. Neither do I. But yeah, you know, like overall, I just think episode six is just taking the game to just a really good direction in general. I think it's great. I do too. I, I like that. I cannot wait to see how this all goes and when it launches on April 24th. Like all the changes and everything they're proposing is like, I feel like this is exactly what I've been wanting since I started playing this game back in 2013. <laughs> I've waited six years for this and now it's only a matter of time until my wish is fulfilled. Yeah. <sighs> so coming to the end of the episode, Guessy, did I really not say the banned word? I mean, you did actually a bit earlier. As I said, what? It, was, it was like kind of like a phrase, not a word. That was a weird word. I was expecting you at some point to say like actually something, something actually. Like just just say actually twice in one sentence, and you were avoiding it for so long. I thought you weren't gonna do uh it, <laughs> and then you <laughs> did. You did say it at uh one point. <laughs> love saying <laughs> I, like, I like clearing people i was like yeah so we have this and then actually i think it's gonna just be like this yeah no but see i wasn't looking for just the word actually i was waiting for you to say it twice in one sentence which you did i think it was like this is actually <laughs> going to actually be you know like this oh my god <laughs> it feels so bad <laughs> anyways coming 
into the last sections of the Sky Lounge, one more thing that we're going to do is we're going to ask you guys to actually post in the comments every time we're ending an episode. We're going to do this. So basically, we're going to make you fill in the blanks. Make me and guess these shoes between this and this. So with this week's submissions, we have a few questions. So the first question, Guessy, we have shoes between controller or mouse keyboard. See, as a person that's been a console gamer for so long, because I don't have a really decent VC, I am I am controller. I am 100% controller <laughs> player. <laughs> Joke's on you. I don't own console, so it's mouse <laughs> keyboard all the way for me. There's no other explanation required. <laughs> Although... <laughs> The next one, though, I, I do need to explain a bit. So, Gessy, let's choose between phalag or log legs. Who? I now, mean, I know the first one. Ask, Who the fuck listen, is... Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I know you're going to ask what the hell log legs is, okay? So, listen, I've been going to the gym recently, and there's this trainer. We, ha we have this gym trainer, and then apparently he's so buff that his legs literally looks like logs, so we kind of call him log legs. Oh, my God. Well, I think this question is specifically for you, then. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude. But then getting kicked by foul leg is, like, bad, too. Oh, yeah, dude, dude, you not that that's like a dangerous hazard right there. I mean, I guess if Phalag was real, I would actually die, but Log Legs kicking me, <laughs> I won't die, so I have to choose Log Legs, I think. So, if you're going to direct that question to me, I'm going to direct the next question to you, Guess the oh, Tuna or Matoy? Oh, my God. Um, Settle the waifu debate of the century. Yo, okay. So, I think for me, I go with Kuna, but, but not the idol Kuna. The uh, the I feel no, like no, the no, 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 guess well. you can't do that. Kuna is Kuna. Okay, fine, Kuna. Just, 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 I'll go with Kuna. I'm gonna go with Kuna. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna tell all the Matoy fanboys to come get you. Wow, that's probably basically what's gonna happen. <laughs> the moment this episode goes up, guess you be prepared. I'll do my best. <laughs> he does, does his best, he says. Anyways, don't forget for next week's lounge episode, you guys comment down below and tell us what you want us to pick. We'll probably see you guys sometime this next week, hopefully. <laughs> All right. I'll catch you guys later as well. Later. Bye-bye.